much more needs to be cut from the APD budget after the 4 per uh, four percent provider rate cuts go into effect on July 1st. <clears throat> I was at the meeting on the 9th when APD asked people's opinion on possible ways to cut the budget. Uh, do you plan to use any of those ideas that were given? If so, which ones? Um, I know we're going through them, but honestly at this moment I can't remember any of the specific uh, I just I do remember some that you know we, we check off and mark off and then we are looking at it but like I said at, at this moment I can't I remember exactly which ones they were. Well, one of them was uh, off the top of my head was the limited support coordination for group homes. Mm -hmm. um, is that something that you guys are looking at in any way, shape, or form? Yes. We are looking at that one. Do you, do you really think that that would be a good idea to do limited support coordination for group homes or assisted living facilities, wherever the clients may be? Um, there's so many bad things that have happened. I think taking extra eyes off might not be a good idea. Well, and, and, and it's one of those, and, and I agree with you, and, it, but, and it's one of those that we can't make a blanket um, statement for. And when, even when I've talked to waiver support coordinators or other providers, um, we all kind of arrive at the same same location. Now, does that mean that kind of with the deemed status, is it in, in some way in band or you know band uh, focus um, that we may be able to move from a, a full limited you know full support coordination to limited in the future? Um, based on you know all the, the kind of combination of things in a given length of time, we're still looking at those. And um, but you know, it, I, I was asked several times about that, and I told them we'd look into it, and that's what we're doing. And, uh, we're trying to to um, to get as much information as we can before we make a, make a final decision. But that was one of the one of the big things that when we talk to providers as well as with motor sport coordinators is that they brought up. Um, but you also, you know, and, and as a matter of fact, there was a motor sport coordinator that told me, and they said, yeah, there probably are, there probably are some people who would do just fine with limited. Um, and, and, but it's another one of those things that may end up being on a case by case basis. You know, unfortunately, because in, in, I very much believe in in person-centered, you know, planning and person-centered clinical approach. Because um, I know one side doesn't fit all, um, and so in, in making some of, in making some of the decisions, we have to um, where we can work things out where it's the best of both worlds, it's great. But, um, you know, if we can, and, and we can't do it all today, that's fine too. Because, you know, at the end of the day, um, we're going to do the best job we can. Because, right, I, I mean, I, I personally know there's always really good group homes, and there's not so good group homes. It, do, it does vary, it does depend, but, you know, I, I just... It worries me to think, you know, if there wasn't enough people observing and being able to go out there and look, that other bad things can happen. I mean, right. you know, they just went over to the Miami Herald and they, they, they just did a huge story on that. And, you know, I personally knew one of those particular homes that they, that they commented on. And years ago, I actually reported that group home and nothing happened. And, you know, that's a, another question I have for Aka person that's running it now, you know, and I, I've already spoke to a few people today about different things about that. But, you know, it's just, it's just important that enough people watch and make sure that everybody's well taken care of. Yeah. And, and unfortunately, or fortunately, I'm going to look at Coming from my background, um, I tend to, to be a little bit suspicious anyway. Um, and, 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 you know, to me, I want to see Tell me all day that you run a great program. I want to see you run a great program. I want to see how well you do over, you know, six months, twelve.